Alright, and here we go, the infamous playrooms. In we go. Whew. What further horrors shall I find within this terrible place? Mm -hmm. We're in a time before these catastrophic events. I would have willingly accepted pallid imitations of such horrors. Mm -hmm. I now have come so far, my sensibilities lie benumbed by all I see. Mm -hmm. I do not embrace this horror, but rather stand immobile beneath its self-indulgent gaze. Confusion reigns, and I fear the god within the machine is no longer there. Oh, the deus ex is fucked off. Well, welcome to the playrooms, everybody. <laughs> Are you ready for so much drilling? <laughs> Not a good kind, though. Alrighty. This is widely regarded as, well, in the original game at least, uh, the most maze-like and confusing in the entire game. Um, thankfully though, I'm pretty good with it myself, so I think we'll be fine. It'll be a relatively fun trek through the playrooms. Oh, hang on, let me just move this over here. There we go. Good shit. Okay, Asylum Playrooms. Uh, ten souls, well, I mean, you know, we'll, we'll be getting 35 at least of the 36 Caddo. We'll be getting all but one of them. Uh, find the Retractor, find eight Dark Souls. Might sound like a lot, but, uh, yeah, we'll be fine, I think. In we go! Mind the fish. Hey, come on. Is my aiming even on? There we go. <laughs> right, there is one Caddo down here, so let me just go get it. If I can find it. There we go. So there's our first one. Um, like I said, with the, uh, with the, uh, with the experimentation rooms, um, if you follow along, this is like a pretty decent way of doing things without having to, uh, to backtrack too much. I mean, you can kind of do everything in just one good, perfect run, actually, without having to worry about backtracking too much. Oh god, that's a lot of fosh. Alright. Ah, oh, the playrooms. It's uh, just as horrifying as it sounds. If you've seen any of the uh, promotional material from the game back in the day, uh, there's a very high chance that the overwhelming majority of the screenshots and uh, and uh, video footage you've you've seen of this game, it's probably taken from the playrooms. This is uh, quite a unique place. <laughs> oh, the horror! I embrace it, but only just barely. <laughs> it's kind of kind of fucks my brain up. Kind of fucks my brain up. All right, onward we go, friends. It's time to go to the playrooms. Not as enjoyable or kid-friendly as it sounds. I mean, it's this game for crying out loud. But like I said, it's fairly linear if you if you let it be. It's fairly linear if you allow it to be, and there's a lot of shortcuts you can open as well. Oh, really? These guys are just not up to finding me anymore. I'm just too strong. I don't know if that has anything to do with the extra souls they added to the game, because, you know, after all, they did add a whole bunch. There we go. Let's open that up. Hey, there we go. There's the tunnel door open. Let's have a look around while we're here. Closed door. Not closed door. Might as well have a little peek around, see if there's anything worth seeing. There we go. Uh, honestly, the playrooms are not too bad. There we go. Hmm. Get to have a little look at an area we'll be going to in just a sec. Oh dear, it's not as maze-like as everyone says it is, especially compared to the experimentation rooms. Fuck. Oh, seriously, if you got through the experimentation rooms okay, you will be just fine with this place. Holy fuck. My biggest concern is if I forget any Caddo, I will need at least 30 before I leave, or is it 31? 36? Oh, 35, sorry, yeah. When we're getting 35, there's one of them in particular we can't get. I mean, you could technically get, if you're not worried about uh, a no-death run. Uh, you could just grab it and just die on the coals, it's right near a teddy bear warp point. Ah, oh, fuck, I always aggro those guys up there. It would be nice to stealth them for once, but maybe it's not possible? Uh, no. Anyway, at any rate, there are no Kado here. There's one up top, though, so we'll grab that. So, yeah, you, you can tell that I've replayed the uh, playrooms quite a bit just to sort of make sure that I have everything down pat. No, fuck you. There we go. Because, uh, yeah, it's definitely one of the most more maze-like areas. Oh, great, they can shoot through their friends, no problem. It's just like Wolfenstein 3D all over again. There we go, fuck you. Alright, so, let's go grab some things. This place is huge. Alright, so now our ultimate goal is to get these two things here, these two whatever they are. I guess they're water gates, we need to get them up. 
So let's do that. Um, I forget which side has the Kadar on it. I think it's this one. I think this is Kadar. Might be Kadar. Let's have a look. I eh, guess it doesn't matter too much. Uh, yep, that is the Kadar. Now you might think, is there one on the other side? Well, actually, no, there isn't. <laughs> we can see it on the way back. But it absolutely does not have a Kadar, which, you know, gotta love it. No symmetry allowed in this game, by the look of it. At least as far as collectibles are concerned. Okay, let's plunge our key in. And just like that, we've raised all four of these water gates, which will give us access to the area there. Oh, they're stained with blood. I love it. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. They're stained with blood. Nice. <laughs> Very nice indeed. All right. We can also open that door and grab ourselves some things. Uh, nope, nothing here. Hmm. Strange place. All right. Now, we've opened this door. This only just leads back to where we were before, as you can see. There we go. See, we're back to this area again. So, a shortcut of sorts, I guess. I mean, good if you miss the cat over here, I guess. Okay, but we're going to head back here and start swimming down, and we're going to continue on our journey. We haven't quite reached the playrooms as yet, uh, but we will. Don't you worry, you'll know when we've reached the, uh, the, the playrooms proper, because the music will change. In fact, it's coming up around about now. There we go. Oh, we've got some underwater fans. Just like Conker's Bad Fur Day, although this game came out first, so I guess there's that. <laughs> Right. And yes, you can charge your uh, gun underwater if you need a little extra light, but I don't really. Alright. Oh, who are these guys? Oh, who are you? Oh, oh, look at the babbies. Oh, the little gimp doggies. What the fuck? Oh, doggy toys. Oh, no. Oh, they're dog gimp men. Oh, and someone's taken a drill to a baby's head. Oh, no. Hey, I didn't know I floated in this game. If you just leave yourself standing, uh, yeah, still underwater, you'll float up. I didn't know that. Didn't know I had lungs to float. Oh, dear. So, yeah, welcome to the playrooms. <laughs> it sounds like this. Uh, yeah, it sounds like that. Hi, Sentinels. They, they don't notice me because I'm in the tank, thank God. Uh, so yeah, playrooms! <laughs> Yay! Oh, it's just the, the most macabre version of play school you've ever seen in your life. Philip Quast is here, drilling into baby skulls. That's really more a Benita thing to do. You know, no one knows what I'm talking about. Alright, let's go! Rest in peace, John Hamlin. He would not accept this even in, uh, in an alternate reality. And then you have this terrifying fucking music. Hey, I wonder if you can guess what our outro music is going to be for this stream. <laughs> Oh dear. Alright, well, let's start cleansing this place. Alright, we have this sort of big towering area here. And these guys are going to creep up on us, so the quicker we get rid of them, the better. There we go. Let's try not to aggro too many guys here. Okay. Don't think they've seen me. Alright, but first things first, actually, we're going to go into this door here, which just leads to a Caddo. Nothing all that interesting, but um, it's an easy place to forget, so do go here. <laughs> there we go. Because who doesn't like a good Caddo in their diet? There we go, because Lord knows I've forgotten about this place once or twice in the past. There's just one Caddo there, and we get to overlook this area. I like to call this area the Killing Yards, because, yeah, you're about to see why in a tick. <laughs> it's a lot, of, a lot of death there. In fact, I could end up being killed by an enemy here. It's, ve it's very rare that I die in combat. It's usually falling. It's usually falling to death, but there are some tricky moments in combat. And one of them is there. I, I could very easily get torn to shreds. There's a lot of sentinels. And uh, this is also the level that introduces uh, the... Uh, mm. Yeah, I'm in the butchers, sorry. Um, I don't know if this is the level that introduces the sentinels, necessarily? Um... But it definitely, it definitely un, uh, introduces the painkiller, though. The painkiller, these uh, cut enemies from the from the uh, original game. They got these green coats on, and uh, yeah, a bit more difficult than your standard butcher, I would say. So, uh, or surgeon, sorry, not butcher. Or is it butcher? I don't know. Stop drilling that baby in the head, please. <laughs> stop, please stop doing that. All right, well, let's start up top or down below. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna start up top. It really doesn't matter. Um, 
You can actually start anywhere. That's the lower tunnel area. You'll unlock the teddy bear warp point no matter which way you go, actually. Here we go. Got it. There we go. <laughs> All right. No one in here. Nothing to find. Good. There we go. So this all. So if you took the downstairs door, there's a little tunnel there. This way, Mikey. <laughs> you can get the teddy bear warm point no matter what when you travel through here. So that's good. All right. I guess I'll start here. All right. We will have to start taking on some uh, some painkillers. And some sentinels. Sentinels, uh, well, maybe not sentinels. Like I said, I'm not sure if there are sentinels in this level. Maybe. There are certainly painkillers, though. Alright, well, let's start by getting the, uh, oh god. Let's start by getting the, um, the, uh, the retractor. It's, I mean, it's right here, so right off the bat we can get the retractor. There we go. Hey, we can actually fight these little gimp dog men. And these can actually die in one hit if you charge up your gun like this. Oh no, Coronia die now. Oh dear, we've encountered the kennels. Oh, this is fucking madness. Can we get a Coroni, please? I need Coroni to cheer myself up. Can I get a Coroni? No coffee dance. Yeah, that's what I was expecting. Oh, I'm a guy. Thank you, whoever. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Coroni is dead. Oh god, I'm so sorry. No, I'm a sorry. <laughs> I'm a sorry. <laughs> Oh, I must kill doggos. Oh dear. Those ones are not necessary to kill down there. They None of those drums hold a uh, cado. Ooh, lovely door. Nice pentagram door there. That's your cue that you'll get a retractor here. There it is. Oh, Shadow Man. I see you. Get back here, you fucker. Show yourself. Show yourself, you fucker. Oh god. Uh, circle scraping. Go, go, go. A lot easier in this game compared to the original. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. No! Oh, how dare you! There we go. Only one of them. Okay, that makes things easier. Right, let's grab some Caddo. I mean, we've only really just started the playrooms, and just like that, we've got the Retractor. Nice. Good start to the proceedings. But of course, there's much more to do down here. Much more to do. Alrighty. Let's keep going. Hey, now that could be useful. Hey, and just like that, we've got three retractors. It says two, but we've already used one of them, of course. So, uh, let's... That's good. Let's have a look. Uh, find... Okay, all we have to do is find eight Dark Souls, and the remainder of the Caddo save one. So we want to get that count to 35. And eight Dark Souls. So yeah, that's where our real work uh, is taking place. There's, there's a lot of travel here. It's a relatively long level, but, uh, like I said, I think I've got a pretty good system down for getting through this without, uh, with minimizing backtracking as much as possible, so, yeah. I think we'll be okay. Um, oh, we hear a Dark Soul already. Hey! Oh, hello! There we go. Fuck you, Surgeon! There we go. Although, there's nothing really to see here right now. There we go. There's a Dark Soul there, but sadly we can't reach it just yet. Alrighty. Now, as it happens, there is a a little rope or wire that we can climb through. Or across, rather. We can climb across it to reach the other side to that Dark Soul. However, you might notice there's a hook over there. And sadly, as soon as you reach that hook, you'll just drop down to the bottom again. So we're going to have to open that up. That's actually a shortcut of sorts. Sure, if you want to call it that. Oh, dearie me. So, um... I just gotta remember this. There is a point of no return. As in, if I think if I jump down there, I'm sort of committed to that route. So, I'm gonna start with the bottom route first. Um... So, yeah. We'll just start down here. <laughs> then go down to the bottom of the tower. And we're going to work our way to this part here. This is actually where you get sent to with the teddy bear warp point. You actually get sent to this location. Oh, somehow we aggroed that guy earlier. Hello, usually doesn't happen. Fuck you. Oh, no. No. We also got a shotgunner as well. Yeah. Fuck you. Right, there we go. And as you can see, this is where the tanks are. Uh, how very meaty these tanks are. It's delicious. <laughs> But there are no vegans here in chat, otherwise your day is going to be fucking ruined. Alrighty, well, we got some things to do. Uh, might as well explore this area down here. 
First there's this area. This leads actually to the ground floor area where we were just at, as you can see. There's the rope with the hook on it just above. And this is where we'd end up if we actually decided to climb the rope, because the, the once you reach the hook you just get sent down all the way here. Alright, uh, there's actually not a whole lot we can do here right now, but um, we can at least look at some things. For example, there's our first painkiller. He's just uh, doing his thing. <laughs> there's our first painkiller. Oh, spoilers, he doesn't kill your pain. I think he kills painfully. I think that's what that name means. I think that's what it implies. He's got a red hood, he's got... He's got a violator weapon, and he's got a massive club. So not all that different from the from the uh, surgeons, actually. They just got a bit more health. You know, just a bit tougher like that. Nice room, though. Nothing really to get here, but uh, nice ambience. <laughs> Shit, all that blood on the window. Oh, no. All right. But then, of course, we've got this error as well, which leads to a Dark Soul and some other special things over there, which we'll get to much later in the game, actually. Right at the very end, we'll get that. And that door is locked. Um, our ultimate goal is to unlock that door, because once we've unlocked that, then it's like, hey, we're free to pretty much go wherever we want at that point. Because um, at that point, you're like, okay, you start opening all these ways up, and it's like, okay, I get it. The teddy bear warp point leads to all these areas and all that. This also leads to the last of the Dark Souls and uh, the last Caddo we'll be getting here as well. We get to see our first live true form as well. Look at that fucker. He's hanging out in his cage. Now, against my better judgment, our goal here is to open that cage door and he'll wander around, but uh, we won't actually get his Dark Soul until our second trip here. Well, well, let's open the cells and let's deal with these fuckers. Oh no. Oh no, not blood. Oh, so much blood. So much babies getting their head drilled in. I'm not kidding, by the way. Alrighty, so yeah, if you weren't doing a, if you get, if you want that achievement uh, uh, to um, achievement for uh, not dying, in fact, you know what? I don't think you can reach it anyway. Oh, you can, but it didn't collect it for some reason. So this is the one Kado we can't really get in. That's the one Kado we can't get during our first trip. Of course, we need to, we need, we need the power to. Uh, to uh, walk on the hot coals to grab that one, sadly. What's with this texture here? It seems kind of out of place. Is that a secret or something? I don't know. I think the developers have hidden so a lot of secrets in this remaster. Oh dear, the power of Gib has been unlocked. Thank God, I'm gonna need it. Oh no, we've got a surgeon and we've got a painkiller. Oh, I don't like it. There we go, at least the surgeons are relatively easy to deal with. Shit, I'm taking damage. There we go. Also got some dead siders to deal with. No, do not take my soul. The problem is you can't get your soul back from these guys. Because they're in the cages, you can't grab them. Oh well, there we go, we've got a couple Women. of Caddo. <laughs> Women. <laughs> Hang on, I'll redeem that for you if you like. There we go. Enjoy the power of Gib. It's mighty. Good job. Good job! Oh dear. Welcome to Shadow Man Remastered, it's quite the game. Alright, I only need 25 more Kado to get. Um, we'll get all but one of them on this particular level, uh, the first time around. And as for Dark Souls, how many do we get on our first trip? Eight! Shit! Eight out of... Ten. So we'll only have to get ten. One of them is there right in front of us, and we'll be getting that one later. So yeah, the return trips to this place are actually fairly brief. <laughs> Alright. Still, there we go. I think we've done everything we can here for now, which means it's time for us to finally delve into the meaty pools. <laughs> we can go into the meaty pools. So let's get up on the tower again. Oh dear. Oh, the music here is so schizophrenic. I love it. Oh, Babby is here, everybody. Babby is going to get head drilled in. <laughs> right, so this time around, we're actually going to jump down. Whoop. There we go, land here. Pretty sure there's no Caddo here, but there are some in the tanks, actually. Before we jump into the tanks, though, there are a couple of things we want to see first. Oh! I'm gonna go this way instead, there we go. <laughs> so much laughter and pain. Everything is just horrible here. Ow! Well, I dodged right into that. Alright, now before we jump into the tanks, uh, we are just going to go on a little trip here. I don't know if we can even... Oh, yeah, no, this is necessary, I think. I think this is the route to release the true form. Pretty. Oh, yeah, this is where we get our first Dark Soul. Absolutely necessary. There we go. 
Yay, voodoo ammo I don't need. Fantastic. Okay. Dealing with these guys at range is usually a good idea. Because these guys shoot a lot. Oh no! They're all over the place. Um, right. Don't worry. I've got just enough power in my shadow gun to really do some damage against these guys. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Better get rid of them first. Don't want them chasing me around. Die! Good god, I hate these guys. Oh, they're even worse on the horror difficulty. Die! 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 Whew! Fuck you. Alright, there we go. Fantastic. Oh, more voodoo. And this is what I deem the most useless door in the game. It's locked now. But when we unlock it again, it's kind of pointless, because this is like one of the last Dark Souls we're going to be getting in this level. We're not going to get it in this trip, but on the second trip, there's one soul here, and then there's the true form on the other side of that vent there, so, uh, yeah. I generally go for the true form one first anyway, so that door uh, opening up is completely useless. Unless, of course, uh, you know, you want to backtrack and find yourself some more Caddo, but, um... I'm going to be getting all of the Caddo except for one of them in one glorious run here anyway, because who wants to revisit the playrooms more than is necessary? I mean, we will have to come back here a few times. It's time to put down some doggo gimps again. Oh, stop drilling that baby in the head, please. It's not kosher. Maybe it is, I don't know, but I just don't want it. <laughs> no more baby drills. Oh! The power of the yes! I embrace it. I embrace it. There we go. We've leveled up again. Let's have a quick peek and see what we can do with that. Open coffin gate. Find the enzyme, which is a shield. Don't really use it all that often, but can be useful. Uh, what else? Open the coffin gate. Enter the Temple of Prophecy. Temple of Prophecy. Uh, enter the coffin gate. Hmm. Enter the coffin gate. Enter yeah, yeah. That's the same place. Yep. Yeah, all right. We're going to stick with the playrooms for now. We've got seven more Dark Souls together. And if you remember, this is where we entered the playrooms. As we swam through this tunnel, we saw all the gimp dogs here. Oh dear. Oh, that's the rib cage of something. Fuck knows what it is, though. Those are some eh, adult leg bones, I guess. Someone's been feeding feeding the doggos the, the bones of the, of the dead side, as by the look of it. That's just a waste of good fuel. All right, but there we go. We got ourselves a Dark Souls. So that's nice. Our very first one of the level, so let's make our way back. And let's have a quick dip in the blood, shall we? <laughs> we need to get some more cat over here. There we go. Let's do a first person swim. There we go. So quiet and scary here. Pretty. There we go. Is that really it for Caddo in this area? Okay. Fair enough. Okay. Alright, we'll hop into the other one. Which has a suspicious tunnel in it. Huh. Well, we'll check that out in a sec, because there's another Dark Soul we can get nearby. As you can hear from that very noisy propeller, uh, we are going to be climbing up there and grabbing ourselves a Dark Soul. All right, fairly long level, like I said, but if you stay on track with your collectibles, you'll be just fine. All right, it's a bit tricky to see, but there's where the blood fall is to the left. Time to start climbing. Yeah, thank God I have the point. You can visit here without the point, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you absolutely can. You can just be like, oh, I don't want to collect the point now. I want to go play more levels and get more Dark Souls. All right, so here's the killing room. For two reasons. There's that side of the room that has a bunch of, uh, of, uh, there's, there's some, uh, uh, oops, some, uh, butchers slash, uh, surgeons. I think they're called surgeons. And, uh, a painkiller. And over here, we've got... Just a bunch of surgeons, so this left side is easy to deal with. But yeah, it's kind of a murder hall here. Okay, so we're going to be very careful. And you know what? You're better off just sniping in this corner here. Just whittle down the enemies as much as you can. I can deal with one of these surgeons. There we go. I can deal with one surgeon. There we go. Careful now, because the enemies on the other side will be uh, aggroed as well. There we go. And we can see some more Govi over there with Dark Souls of their own, but we can't get to them just yet, and there's no Dark Soul here, but we do get three Caddo for a grand total of 16. We're getting there. Now, to get to the other side, we're going to have to do some more stuff in the level. Unfortunately, we can't reach it just yet. 
because uh, the wall is a bit too high, sadly. See, walls work, I told you. I fucking told you. Oh yeah, fun fact, if you've got an item in one of your hands while you're swimming, then uh, yeah, see how I'm sort of paddling with my right arm and I'm turning? I'm not doing that turn myself. What happens if I have both items in my inventory? Oh, it just really slows down your swimming speed. <laughs> so yeah, you know, clearing the items in your hands gives you the best uh, swimming capabilities on the surface like that. As for underwater, uh, it may maybe it makes a slight difference, but I don't know for certain. All right, so there's that. Dark Souls, some three Cado. That's not bad. Whee! Let's head down to the flesh pit again, and as you can see, this place looks like it's blocked off with some flesh. There we go. There we go. Pop all of the flesh in the tunnel. Oh dear. Is that going to make a satisfying gaming list? Do you think? Oh, this place is so loud. Oh god, it's so loud. Let's get out of here, thanks. Jesus, that's loud. Oh god, they're all over the place, it's so loud. Alright, so we can go right, we can go left. Um, they both end up in the same place, but... If you go left... You will get yourself two caddos. So, yeah. Don't bother going right, I say. There's nothing to see there. Certainly not caddo. Oh no! Are you already aggro, huh? Alright. Someone's already a very angry boy. Alright. Uh, oh yeah, I have to open this door up first. Yeah, there's a little lid here that needs opening, so... Before I go up there and open it, I'm just gonna have a look around over here. Uh, it's that soul over there. Alright, cool. Oh wait, this is just the other side of where we were at. So I guess, yeah, if you go right you can see... What is probably the last Dark Soul you're gonna get in this level. Um... But other than that, there's no point in going to the right because there's no Caddo or anything. Right, I, th I think he's given up on me. That's good. Yep, I'm here. Oh god, I have to deal with two of them now! No! No! I prefer just using the Shadow Gun. Because then I can get some health back. I mean, you can use your voodoo weapons and, uh, you know, make sure the last hit is from the Shadow Gun and do it that way. But, you know, why take the risk? You might lose some health there. Alright, we've opened up the lid now, so we should be able to get there through there. But before we do that, there's some stuff we can get here. So we're just going to explore a bit more over here for now. Alright, I think we can get some Caddo here. Unless I'm mistaken. Oh, there's a doggy! Take that, Gimp Dog! You ever hear about the Somerset Gimp? Oh, there's a Caddo. Um, ever heard of the Somerset Gimp? <laughs> Apparently he's not allowed to be a Gimp anymore. <laughs> the police finally said, you know what, that's enough. <laughs> no more Somerset gimping, please. Alright. Wow, that has nothing. None of those drums have anything. Great. <laughs> Dear. Well, that's, that's more babies' heads getting drilled in. Enjoy. <laughs> Sleep well. <laughs> Sleepy by times. Alright, let's get pointing again. Um, I think this leads to the other side of that area so we can get two souls here. So, yeah, I mean, we can really... We can really grab up some souls here. Alright. It is seven hours since we started streaming. Uh, like I said, if I, if I have to go to ten hours, I just want to get the serial killers done next week. Alrighty, so we are going to hide here like a bitch, because this is one of the areas you can get easily fucking killed in. Uh, it's not good. Maybe I should get my true form head out. There we go. Ah, shit. God, there's just so many of them. I hate it. There we go. And there's a painkiller. Alright. It's just one of them, though. Painkillers are just essentially just... Uh, I, I guess they're just surgeons with a little bit more health, I guess. And maybe they do a bit more damage, but... Their firing rate seems to be the same. Alright, that's two Dark Souls for us. Gotcha! Yeah. The Dark Souls are mine. Fantastic. Alright, let's get the other one. Yeah, get that. Get that lava on my dick. Right, and with that, uh, let's see. Only four more left to get. There we go. How are we doing uh, for... For, uh, Kado, 19 out of 36. I think that's good. Hmm, I really hope I don't forget any. 
that being said, once we've opened up all of the uh, the locked off areas, uh, we should do pretty well, I'd say. I think we're on track. So there you go, that's the other side of the kill room done. Nice. Let's make our way back. Got to go through that uh, tunnel there with the, the big lid that we opened up. Alrighty. <laughs> Okie dokie. Oh. Kind of wanted to stay on land, though. <laughs> I am not a fish. Alright. Although, I can live underwater without having to worry about breathing. I guess Mike talks somehow without breathing. Although, it sounds like he breathes quite a bit, like when he lands. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely breathing in this game. I guess he can just hold his breath forever because he's dead. <laughs> it's like, uh, the breathing's just optional, my dude. <laughs> I don't need to. Alright. Here we go. Hey, and we got lucky. The, uh, the surgeon that usually hangs around here wasn't aggroed here today. If you're really unlucky, uh, the surgeon will be here as you climb your way out and they will aggro and they will fuck you up. Okay. Yep, that's the one. Sometimes he's in that room when you emerge and he can shoot you when you're vulnerable. Yeah, not really all that fussed really though, we're doing quite well. Alright, we're near- I think we're nearly at the cell room now. Uh, there- oh, we're at the first cell room at least. In the original game there's only t uh, one cell, but in this one there's like three of them for some reason. Right, let's empty the room of enemies for starters. Uh, come on. Oh, there's a surgeon. No. No. Mind the club. There we go. Right, there we go. Alright, so we've got a fair bit of stuff to do here. Uh, oh shit, there's a surgeon that I missed. God, yep, I hope you like that squeaky toy. You're going to be hearing it all day in this fucking level. Although I'd say we're a little bit past the midway point. I think we're doing pretty well. Damn it, there we go. <laughs> Suck it. There we go. Right, let's try opening things. What does this do again? Um, um, oh, it opens the lid there, okay. But we can't actually go through that little tunnel there because unfortunately the water level is too low. So we're gonna have to raise that water level. First things first, uh, let's open up these cells. Oh no. Ah, uh, another surgeon. Typical. Hello. Alright. Oh, fuck you. Righty oh. Let's have a look and see what's behind cell number one. Oh, just a dead cider in a cage. <laughs> fuck you. Right. Ah, oh, Fugador. One's on a table, and the other one's just in a barrel. Oh, I don't want to know what's going on in this place. What the fuck is going on? The hose or a rope or something. I don't want to know what's going on in here. I don't want to know. And let's see what's behind room number two. Oh my god. It's just symbols on the wall of scissors. But they also kind of look like the spears that uh, Milton Pike has. Yeah. yeah, they look like the spears that Milton Pike symbol has. So yeah, I don't think they're meant to be scissors, but they look an awful lot like them. And then we got this room as well. What's behind door number three? Nothing but a little Easter egg of sorts. I've been a very bad boy. <laughs> so, that's just written on the wall there. Couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you what's going on with that. Oh dear, how are we going for Caddo? Um, 23 out of 36. That ain't bad. Right, let's get back to work. We're just going to keep on soldiering on as we are. We will slowly but surely unravel the play the playrooms. We're gonna be doing a fairly thorough job of it too. Okay, so here we are. It's just a room where we can fuck around and do some things. I will actually want to go through there first, but before I do that, I might actually just raise the water level now. There we go. Water level raised. There we go. Good shit. So there's that. Uh, right, let's jump in. We've also got this little tunnel here that leads back outside again, but before we do that, I highly recommend going to this tunnel here and collecting the stuff here because we're going to reach a point once we go through the tunnel down there where there's a point of no return and you'll just have to teddy bear warp your way back in or just go through the whole level again. I mean, not the whole level, but you'll have to go through this entire sequence of areas we went through again. Going through, swimming through all the pipes and stuff like that. Yeah, it's a real pain. So we're gonna go this way first. Oh, and here we are at the, the main cell area with more doggos to murder. Hello! Yay, the gimp doggies are all dead. 
Oh my god. All right, well, all these cells are currently closed. We can open them up in a sec. Uh, in fact, I might as well just do it now. Cells open. There we go, and we'll visit the cells in a sec, because it's easy to forget, but we want to go this way. Oh, so there's a bunch of things we want to do. Hey, look where we are. We're back here again. Fantastic, and we're about to open up another shortcut. Here we go. Is this a door we can open? Oh, it totally is. Oh, we're going to get two Dark Souls in a row here. Fuck you. Fuck you. There we go. Fuck you. Hate you, surgeons. There we go. That's a tiny true form bit right there. Look at that. That is the tiniest true form I've ever seen. Fuck you. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, baby drill. Drill, baby, drill. Couple of Caddo there. Oh, nearly at 69 Caddo. That's nice. But let's grab a Dark Soul while we're here. Good shit. <laughs> Good shit. We immediately get another one as well while we're here. There we go. <laughs> Fucking squeaky joy. It's enough to drive a perfectly sane person to the brink of insanity. Oh. So, as you can see here, we got a Dark Soul, but we also got this console. Hit this little switch here, and up oh, there goes the hook. So there we go, we've opened up another shortcut of sorts. Uh, not that we're going to use it, really. Um, yeah, you can see another Dark Soul in the background there, but that's, uh, I think that's that one, I think? I don't know. What we want to do, though, is head through here. Oh, hello there, nobody. You joined us at the best time. We're going to free a true form. Not a good idea, but I mean... Oh, dear. It's necessary, though. Otherwise, we won't be able to get the Dark Soul from him later on. Welcome to the playrooms, though. There's, uh, Gimp, there's Gimp Doggo Men, there's, uh, there's Baby Drilling, there's Squeaky Toys. I love the playrooms, it's so horrible. <laughs> See, there's a baby getting its head drilled in. And there's a true form over there. I love the soundtrack, it's great. Alright, let's release this bad boy. There we go, now he's just gonna have a wander around. He can't really go anywhere, he's still kinda trapped, but hey, we'll let him stretch his legs a bit. We won't be taking him on until much later on, though. Uh, it won't be our first visit. Uh, so, we'll come back in a bit. So there you go, with that, we're doing pretty good. How many souls can I get? Uh, two more to get. And how about our uh, Caddo? 25, is that good? I hope that's good. I hope that's good. All right. Now, if you've seen any promotional material for this game, you have seen this area. <laughs> you certainly have. All right, first we have all these cells. Oh. Oh, oh, well, is it, what the fuck is that? Hang on, I can't read that. What is it? Analyze this, and images of like demon heads, true form heads, they look kind of like vaginas as well. Uh, that looks like a uterus, although nice couch, comfy place. <laughs> comfy place, what the fuck? Oh, there's blood all over them as well. Well, I don't like that, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Now there's just a comfy sofa here, and just fallopian tubes everywhere. I, I guess I can live with that. <laughs> Alrighty, this cell number one, let's try this cell over here. Something better, maybe. Uh, oh no, it's a painkiller. It's just a painkiller. Fuck you. There you go, eat dick. Yeah, I've leveled up my uh, shadow power again, so I'm doing quite well. Hey, some Kado. There we go, some more clay pots for me. I uh, don't know what this error is for. Just sit in the chair, let it drain your kidney juice or something? I don't know. Kind of fucking strange. But hey, let's get a secret while we're here. Is this the room? Yep, this is the room. And you just walk in and you get the secret. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, this room's terrifying. Welcome to the laughing money room. It's just money everywhere. In God we trust, I suppose. And a bloody cash register. Mm. Mm. Right, I'm just I'm just gonna get going. Yeah, I'm 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 just, I'm just gonna get going, I think. Yeah, don't really. Yeah, don't really. Yeah. Hello. Hey, hook boys. They're easily dealt with at this point in time. Oh no, except the door shut. Oh, I hate how they use doors in this game. Just Fuck it, I'm going in. And now he's going out. Fuck you. <laughs> there we go. This is a fairly generic room. Just bloody and rusty hooks hanging from the ceiling. You know, pretty generic. 
but I like it. All right, did you see Niji is losing another one? Uh, I think I saw that on the Discord, you mentioned that. All right, there's a room right over there. I'll leave it till last, though. There we go, we have another surgeon. And then this room actually leads to a secret teddy bear. So not only is there a secret in one of the cells, but this one also gets us to the uh, the teddy bear as well. Uh, assuming it works. Sometimes it doesn't, I don't know why. So you jump on this pool table here that's been wrecked by these fuckers, and you just sort of stand still for a while. It shouldn't take too long to teleport me. Any time now. No? No? Yes? Don't know. Just take me. Just take me to the thing. No, nope. I swear I've done it once. You just stand here and it teleports you eventually. Ah, no. I swear, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Fuck you. <laughs> you can, for some reason, destroy all that. But that just takes you immediately to a teddy bear behind you. I don't know why. Now, if you've seen promotional material for this game, you have absolutely seen this cell as well. It's... Now, this is a playroom. <laughs> Thank you for uh, changing the tone a bit. There we go. <laughs> Shit. Ow, 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 ow. Ooh, that's a lot of damage you did to me, buddy. Fuck you. Time out. Time out for you, baby. There we go. <laughs> yes, more blood. Oh, dear. Oh, we got a mismatch uh, set of... Oh, uh, set of uh, textures there. I wonder if that's a secret or something. I don't know. But before you leave... Oh, look at these giant blocks that only spell hell. And the blood here that stays here forever and ever and ever. All right, but before we leave, though, some caddo behind this pushable block here. There we go. So, don't forget to grab it. There's, I think, two or three. Seems like I got two or so. Okay, that's 33, um, which means we only have to get two more. Two more of those and we're good. Um, how are we for Dark Souls? Two more? Ah, oh, I can understand why there might be two more Caddo now. We're gonna get all but the last one, so yeah, we want to get 35. Um, alright. Oh, of course I'm not done. That's right. I have to go to the, the area that just sort of is a place of no return. That it locks you in. Yeah. Alright. So, uh, that's that fun place. There's a fan of Pomu and Selene. Selene, so I hope she gets to collab with Mint and Doki at some point after leaving. That might be good. Oh. Oh, here we go. So now we're going to jump down here. So yes, highly recommend you go to the upper tunnel first to be playing this game before descending down here, because this uh, will take us on a uh, a road to no return, and we would have to um, basically, I mean, not restart the whole level, obviously, to, to get back to this spot, but um, yeah, I mean, you'd have to redo some of it. All right, but we've raised the water level, and here we go. In other news, Hololive started getting permission to cover Western music. Hey, there we go. Oh, Coroni Western music. So here's why it's a place of no return. They could have easily put like a blood fountain there so you can climb back up again, but the bastards fucking stop you from doing it. Thankfully though, I believe I'm on track. In fact, if I need two more, yes, the last two Kado are here. We are on track. See what I mean? The, uh, the playrooms are nowhere near as maze-like and awful as everyone keeps saying it is. Same thing with the experimentation rooms either, so. Hey, feel free to use this as a guide. <laughs> there we go. Playrooms ain't that bad. And just like that, we got 35 out of 36 Caddo. Nice. Fantastic. We can't get the last one just yet. There we go. But we will be able to get it very soon. There we go. Stop sucking my health juice away. Piece of shit. Alright, we still got to get two Dark Souls, though. Um, uh, I know one of them. I know where one of them is. Um... Hopefully, if we just continue on this road, we'll be okay. Uh, please just spawn one here. Oh, look at the cobwebs here. Can someone get a duster out, for fuck's sake? Okay. Oh, there's that area. I'll come back to there in a tick. <laughs> That'll be the last one I go to, I think. Dark Soul over here? Oh, yeah. Okay, so we don't have to open these kennels here. These cells here, which are practically kennels. But hey, fuck it. Destroy the gimp dogs. <laughs> Oh dear, Caroni would be very displeased. But there's no Caddo here, as you can see. We've cleaned up on those. Caroni did sing the English opening for Sonic Heroes. Yeah, I want more of that. I love her Sonic the Hedgehog outfit. That's great. 
the best thing. She's all blue and shit. Alright, you don't have to come in here, but I mean, you know, uh, you know, cleanse this world of gimp dog people, I guess. Alright, hey, there's a Dark Soul. And yep, we know where the last of them are now. There we go. Fantastic. So this could be the last one you get, depending on how thorough you've been. You know, it's kind of hard to really say which one's going to be the first and last ones you get. I mean, maybe the first ones, but I mean, you know, it's it's easy to overlook some and then just you know, be like, Oh, well, shit, I have to go back. But there we go. We're done with the playrooms. Widely regarded as one of the most maze-like, and as you can see, yep, that's that same water tunnel we went through earlier. This is the right junction, and it showed us where this Dark Soul is. Which means we only have one more to go, and it's in a pretty cool area because it's going to uh, give us access to a weapon at some point later on. But more importantly, it also opens up another shortcut near the beginning of the teddy bear warp. Wait, where is everyone? Oh my god, they're all here! Hello. I was looking for everyone. Where is everyone? Oh shit, okay, there goes the painkiller. Probably a good idea we get rid of him first. No, fuck you! Getting too close for comfort, bastards. No, die! There we go. Shit! Game over, fuckface. There we go. Good shit. Already got all the Kado I need. Now, look what happens if we pull this lever. Hey, we're back here again. We've pretty much unlocked all of the playrooms, for the most part. There, there's still some doors to unlock, but... I mean, we've been pretty thorough. Sorry, Mr. Trueform. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Trueform. I want my Dark Soul. It's my Dark Soul, and I want it now. Hey! It's my Dark Soul, and I want it against my crotch. All right, done and done. That is the playrooms done. Now, if you have a look in here, there's some other things. We're going to need items. Hmm, five items, you say. Interesting. But as you can see, there's ammo, there's ammo, and there's a new weapon. This is the Violator. And, um, yeah, this is the, the... In the original game, there is only one of them, but in the remaster, you can do wield these bad boys, because there's another one to find. But yeah, obviously the most sensible use of these, uh, the, the items to use here is to use three here to unlock the Violator, and then come back here later and just slot these in individually. But there you go! With that, the Playrooms is done! That We've gotten eight of ten Dark Souls and 35 out of 36 Caddo. Nice! We've done some things! I'm happy! Let's go someplace else! Let's see, we can open a Coffin Gate and find the end sign. Uh... I think I know where that is. Ensign. I, I always forget what the fucking ensign is every single time. Ensign. Yeah, I think I can find that. All right, let's get going then. Um. Ugh. Come on, slowpoke. Oh, but thank God we're finally done with, with that place. God, what a nightmare that uh, that playroom is. But uh, hey, you know you can get most of the stuff done in one visit. That's why I like it. <laughs>